Tonight in Your Health at 5, from wrinkles to saddlebags, if age has brought you more than wisdom, you're not alone. Baby boomers are turning to plastic surgery in record numbers, as you'll see in this Eyewitness News Extra. Tell me what you're thinking. Um, this, I would like all of this neck to go away. As Connie Sartain approaches 50, her feelings about cosmetic surgery have changed. I'm a retired hippie, and, you know, we grew up thinking, just do whatever you gotta do, you know, let it all hang out, be relaxed, doesn't matter, you know, it's what you are, not who you are, and all that fun stuff, and I definitely has changed. I'm gonna go kicking and screaming. With a facelift, she wants to reverse the effects of time. I think what you can realistically expect is that. I'll do that. Cosmetic surgery has increased 47% among 51 to 64 year olds since 1996, just as baby boomers started crossing the half century mark. Las Vegas plastic surgeon Gazelle Anson sees the trend firsthand. I think the numbers have increased among baby boomers partly because they're healthier than their parents' generation. And I think they want their appearance to reflect that. Procedures range from tummy tucks to nose jobs. Patients usually pay for it themselves, since medical insurance rarely covers cosmetic surgery. Nationally, the most popular technique is liposuction. It removes localized fat pockets on the body. Costs range from three to $7,000. Eyelid surgery takes away bags and wrinkles on the upper and lower eyelids for about $3,000. And a traditional facelift tightens loose skin and sagging jowls for six to nine thousand dollars. Connie hopes to turn back the clock only so far. I don't want to look 25, but I would like to look good for my age. And at the end of the day, I go home and I look in the mirror and I look tired. And I, I don't want to look tired anymore. Because I'm not, I just look like it. Talking with your doctor about the pros and cons of any procedure is a must. With a facelift, you can expect um, to look pretty bad for about two weeks. You get, tend to get a little bit of bruising in the neck as well. You'll be swollen. How long will I hurt? There's minimal pain, actually. You'll, you'll be uncomfortable for, you know, three, four days. But patients do feel tightness. This is going to be very tight uh, in the neck, and you'll, it'll feel unnaturally tight. But that will, that will soften up very quickly. Scars are a reality, too. You will have a scar. It is always there. It will fade with time, but it is a permanent feature. And if somebody hunts for them, they're going to find them. But on the day before surgery, Connie is ready. She's taking two weeks off from work to recuperate and thinks the results will be well worth it. I want it to look like I've had a very nice vacation. Women aren't the only ones who undergo plastic surgery these days. Men make up about 9% of patients. The most popular procedures for men are liposuction, eyelid surgery, nose reshaping, breast reduction, and facelifts. The top five procedures for women are liposuction, breast augmentation, eyelid surgery, facelifts, and chemical peels. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we'll see how Connie's facelift came out. Oh, yeah. And how she felt after. about it. Yeah. Very good. All right. You've just seen this local woman make the decision to have cosmetic surgery. Will she be happy with the results? Don't miss Paula's next report on Eyewitness News at 6. Even if you exercise and eat right, when it comes to aging, gravity always wins. But now baby boomers are fighting back with the helping hands of plastic surgeons, as we see in this Eyewitness News Extra. It's 7 a.m. and Connie Sartain is taking the plastic surgery plunge. I want to look better for my age. I'm, I truly, I don't want to walk out of here looking 25. I don't want to walk out of here looking 30. The 47-year-old is getting a facelift and laser resurfacing on her lower eyelids. Two popular procedures Las Vegas plastic surgeon Gazelle Anson performs. I think cosmetic surgery is not for everybody. But for a lot of people, when you feel youthful, you want to look the same way. In Connie's case, she's tired of looking tired. I would like this part of me to be um, not look tired. Um, and my eyes, um, actually, I think my eyes are okay until I smile and then I wrinkle from, you know, just, there you go. See, they're all there. They're, they show. But plastic surgery is no day at the spa. Connie undergoes general anesthesia for the entire three-hour procedure. The first incision is made under Connie's chin to tighten her platysma neck muscle. Uh, over time, you develop these bands. So this gets and pick up. And then you tend to get a turkey gobbler in between those bands. Then cuts are made behind Connie's ears and in front of them, as well as along her hairline. Through that incision, we literally um, tighten the underlying structures 
and then redrape the skin and remove the excess. Five days later, Connie's first stitches are ready to come out. He's got a little bit of yellow discoloration in the cheeks, and we really look terrific. A little bruising there, but not bad at all. Overall, Connie says she feels good, but is glad she took two weeks off from work to recover. This isn't something you do on the weekend and go back to work on Monday, believe me. <laughs> Almost a month after surgery, Connie is back for a checkup. Well, you're healing beautifully. She still has some pinkness it? under her eyes from the laser it resurfacing. Is, uh, it will last another mm, six to eight weeks. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, it'll okay. fade slowly. Pictures taken before the surgery document the dramatic difference between then and now. I'm a very energetic person. I, I, I'm always going, I'm moving fast, and I'm not the tired person that's in those pictures. A facelift can turn the clock back five or ten years for most patients, depending upon their age, genetics, and skin care. But it's important to realize what procedures can and cannot do. Plastic surgery doesn't change one's life. It um, just makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. To Connie, the results are exactly what she hoped for. I don't think I would ever do another one. I just feel that I will look better for my age no matter what it is at this point. Plastic surgeons perform more than two million cosmetic procedures a year, from liposuction to collagen injections. It's important to do your homework before undergoing any procedure because they all have risks. One good resource for information about techniques and how to pick a doctor is the American Society of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgeons. The group's website is plasticsurgery.org, and its 800 telephone number is 1-800-635-0631.